Hello everybody, my name is Brick. Bricky, if you are feeling fancy, I hope your day is going great. As you can see, a good friend of our a good friend of our friends, a friend, a friend of a friend is here. His name is Ghostface, and his name is the Ghostface, which is pretty much the number one worst subtext name that any of the killers have. Some great names out there, you know. The shape, the trapper, the hillbilly, the hag, the clown, the ghost face. You, you could have done something a little bit different. I mean, Freddy's the nightmare. This is the cannibal. This. Bubba's the cannibal. Myers is the shape. You know, this is the pig. It's not Amanda Young, Freddy Krueger, uh, Bubba, and Michael Myers. You have cool names for it. Why is it just the ghost face? That's, like, how much the ghost? Why not just the ghost? Why the ghost face? You don't, you don't need this. It's too long. Change it. But anyway, Ghostface was released technically yesterday, and I've been playing a bit, a decent bit of it. As you can see, my level 50, that's because I saved up a lot of blood points. I played a couple games on stream with the character. I got a couple, a little bit of a hang of what he does, and see where his strengths and weaknesses lie. His power is very long, as they all are right now, but his perks are kind of neat. If I'm going to have to explain his power, it's really simple, actually. You activate your ability, you have no terror radius, and you have no red stain until you attack something. But if the survivors stare at you for long enough, then it cancels itself. Also, if you stare at survivors for long enough, an even faster, char uh, faster charge of the stare, the stalk, from around corners, you can make them exposed and then one-shot them. Pretty simple stuff. You can also crouch, which literally does nothing but make you move slower, but it does make you a little bit harder to see, so it's helpful in that kind of perspective. So, that's kind of what his uh, power is to a slight degree. It's nothing too specific. Basically, just run around with no terror radius, but if people see you, then you have terror radius again. It's a pretty simple kind of power. Past that, though, his perks are actually pretty interesting. Let's go through them real quick. We'll start with this one. I'm all ears. If the opponent, a survivor, does a rushed action within 48 meters of you, you see their aura for 6 seconds only can be triggered every 40 seconds. This used to be the opposite. It used to be if they ever use a rushed action outside of your terror radius. This one is much better. Not my favorite perk. It's still only okay, but it is kind of nice for what it is. After that, you have Furtive Chase. This one's interesting. Hooking your obsession gives you a token. Every token makes your terror radius decrease by 4 meters while in a chase. If the obsession dies, you lose all your tokens. And every time the survivor rescues the obsession, it swaps to them instead. So it allows you to keep on bouncing back and forth between your obsessions. Kind of neat. It kind of sucks that the terror radius change is literally only during a chase. I would like it to be regardless, which would make it super cool. But it's still something. And then finally, the last one is right here. Thrilling Tremors. Picking up a survivor blocks all generators for 16 seconds. And they're shown by a white aura. However, the ones that are currently being worked on do not get blocked off. This is only every 100 seconds. It's 60 at max rank. That's, so the cooldown changes. The time does not. It's kind of nice. It's probably my favorite perk of his, of his little group here because it allows you to actually kind of slow the game down just a little bit when you pick somebody up and that's the time where you're the most vulnerable. So it's nice. It ain't great, but it's, it's okay. I can work with it. As for add-ons, it's a lot of the usual stuff. Recharges his shroud power recovery. This is my number one, recharging the recovery, that is. Movement speed while stalking. Duration, killer instinct is visible. That's when a survivor sees you. It shows them like that little red aura like Legion has. It gives them that for a short period of time. This makes it take a little bit longer. Increase the rate at which a survivor can be marked for exposed. That kind of stuff. So, you know, it's uh, some interesting stuff. It's something overly crazy, but it's interesting enough, and I actually kind of like kind of how it how it really works. I like how the add-ons affect him. Also, it's the three-year anniversary of DBD, so there's still double blood points. They've kept that, but they've also added a new thing, the gruesome, not going to even try to pronounce that. It's basically bloody party streamers, but it's 103% because three years, you know, simple stuff. And it works for everybody, so it's pretty awesome. I have a lot of them, as you can see, nine of them. So you find them in your blood web quite often. Right now, I'm actually just saving up points because I want to use all these things, and then I'm going to go ahead and prestige Ghostface, get him all the way up again, and see how it works. And, or see how his, like, prestige stuff works. He has some cosmetics, but the prestige stuff is what I want to see at the current moment. Um, thoughts on the killer so far? He's definitely fun. I have a good time playing him. The stalking, like, survivors seeing you thing might need to be adjusted. I've had survivors literally just stare at me and not 
actually turn my ability off. I've stayed fine. So there is that that might need a little bit of an adjustment. Sometimes I also feel like they're staring at me and they really aren't staring at me, but it takes me on my power as well. It's a little finicky like that. Uh, overall, though, it is pretty good. It's kind of nice running around with Night Shroud on. However, Object of Obsession destroys you. Object of, of Obsession is a massive counter, and I'm just going to be honest, you're screwed. If one of them has that and they're like a group, you're, you're doomed. You're completely doomed. Object of Obsession is so ludicrously good against Ghostface because of the, just the Terror Radius change, of course, because you have no Terror Radius. Though it does feel like you're playing basically Wraith without the delay. You can run around just with your thing and then walk up to a generator and just stab the guy, which is great, but after you stab them, you do kind of turn into a Mouse One Killer after that because after that whole fiasco, you end up needing to still chase the person and then you end up having to go through pallets and stuff. Also, you have no map pressure because there's no speed. So unlike Billy, Spirit, Nurse, kind of Wraith, not really, Hag, unlike them who can actually move around the map pretty quickly, you don't, which means you might have a pretty hard time with generators. That's my number one worst thing that's been happening to me so far is I've been getting gen rushed really badly. Oh god, Torment Creek. So, <laughs> oh dear. Oh boy. I've been getting gen rushed a ton in this game, and you can really feel it. You can honestly just see how fast gens are done, especially without Ruin right now, which I currently do not have. So here's your ability to kind of look around corners and lurk and stuff. Your crouching is instant, so you can teabag, which is awesome. And besides that... Oh. Hello. Got him. See that? How he was kind of staring at me right there, but it wasn't affected for some reason? That's one of those things I was mentioning earlier. I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure I should have came out of the thing right there because he was looking at me, but it wasn't quite long enough. Also, I don't know if you heard that sound effect. It sounds like THX, you know, the opening to the movies where it would just play that really, really loud sound effect. That's what it sounds like. And honestly, that's the sound that lets you know when somebody is looking at you. The only downside is that people on the hook can also see you. Which definitely doesn't help much. Mm. Oh damn. I didn't think somebody would be over there. So looking... Using the actual lean is significantly better than not. You can see people pretty well with this. Actually really really well I right, think about it up oh, see there it is right there that little stain that shows that he saw me so unfortunately I actually don't really want to go attack Bill again but he's really the only one here so I might as well do it mm. damn all right unfortunate uh, I kind of want to just like I don't know oh ah! Wow. Honestly, that probably should not have hit. That that really should not have hit. Wow. I cannot believe that landed. All right. Well, hopefully I... Uh... All right. Perfect. I was a little bit worried it might have decisive. But that's kind of the gist of the character. Roll around, stalk a little bit, get some person exposed, hit them immediately, and then go from there. It's a neat concept. I do like it quite a bit. My only issue is that people can see you. Uh, from the hook, at least. Which is good. It... I am very upset. I missed that. But it's good. It promotes anti-camping. Which is great. Unfortunately, remember what I said about gen rushing and stuff? Three generators have already been completed. At a, just an enormously fast rate. Uh, damn. That bill may almost be dead, but I sure am not. Oh, I thought I could trick him. Damn. Does he have balanced? Uh, I don't know, maybe. <sighs> Damn it. I thought I could try to trick him with the with the crouching right there. It didn't work, unfortunately. Though he hasn't seen me, so I might be able to get some stock on somebody. Though they're not working over there, so I might have to go find a different generator instead. 
But yeah, as you can see, they're getting generators done like mad. Hmm. I guess he just didn't see me. What the hell? Okay. One, two, just two, huh? Well, you're making me worried about that one right there. Just two. Okay, let's see if I can go find somebody else in the meantime. So, yeah, I think, I think you can kind of see where the, the power comes from with this character. You can see how he can be sneaky, grab, grab some stealth stock on somebody, which allows you to get a really nice bit of, well, an exposed stash effect, of course, which makes it a lot easier to take people down. And it, oh my goodness gracious. But I can also really kind of show you where his weaknesses lie, because as you can see, I am just getting massacred in terms of generator speeds. Ah, oh, god damn it, Jake. Well, Jake found me, and that definitely makes things a little bit rougher. Ooh, wow. Didn't think I wow, I almost missed him. Uh, the the gen speed in particular, I mean it's always been kind of rough. Oh, I thought he might be going the other direction. He got me. Gen speeds have always been kind of rough. You know, they I mean they still are. And I'm I will admit I'm getting a little bit ah, he got me. Getting a little bit sick of having the gens be completed at such an insanely fast rate. However, at the same time, it's also exasperated because of my lack of map presence. I have no map pressure, so gen speeds are really rough against Ghostface, in bar especially in particular. Like, right now, especially, as you can see, I'm basically just a mouse one killer. I can't really do anything. Because I'm just, I'm stuck chasing him, because like my stock doesn't really mean anything. Right there, though, that was a nice, nice benefit. I'm surprised I was able to snag him. Though, even with that nice benefit, I have a good feeling I'm probably going to get taken out by him anyway. Or looped around by him anyway. Because, well, I'm still a mouse one killer. He was about to. He was about to do it. It's weird, like... He's he's got his he's got his not weaknesses. He's got his strengths. He really does have his strengths, and some of his strengths are pretty damn phenomenal. But some of his weaknesses are really apparent. If you can't get a stealth part off and you get looped like everyone else, you're gonna have a rough day. You're gonna have a really bad day. And that's the prob that's the part that, that scares me the most. Because he's really Oh, hello. That was a little bit annoying. I don't know why I hit that. But yeah, you can kind of see where where everything lies a little bit. Why he has some decent parts to him and why he has some not so decent parts to him. Let's get you up here. Well, at least I'm able to take one of them out because... Oh, hey, there's the hash. Because I was able to take one of them out. But let's snag you real fast. Got him. There's the hatch, so I can probably get him on the hook and maybe take him out. But I, when you get that, <sighs> that is just unfortunate. Wait, was he really on the hook that long ago? Wow, I'm surprised. All right. Up you go. There we go. At least I'll finally kill him. Uh, as you see, when you get the, the expose effect on people, and you actually really do have that great sneakiness to you, where so long as you're able to be careful, make your way around, stalk people, it can really work out. But then there's the times where it just doesn't work. And those times can be very bad. Oh, can I get him before he bails? I can. Alright, let's get this guy on the hook real fast. I 
For, I think the size of strike can only be used once. If I recall correctly, the new one. I think that still is the case. Oh, sweet. That was Death Hook, too. Even better. Oh my god, I hit the same guy. That is hilarious. Gonna snag that real quick. Ah. Oh. I thought that maybe I could I can get him. Maybe you thought he might get a little bit too cheeky and run away. That's not what happened. Would have been really funny though. Oh my. He has. Wow. He has Unbreakable. I cannot believe he has Unbreakable. I kind of just want to leave him. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. No, 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 no. No, heal yourself. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. It was worth it. Is it a little bit toxic? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do I feel good about this? Absolutely. Okay, so so I made it with a three man. I did make it with a three man. Uh, <laughs> played around with my food a little bit there. I definitely did, but I did make it with at least a three man. You know, this was a solid game in the idea that okay, they they totally screwed themselves at the end, right? They were fine. They could have gone away three man, no issues been fine or sorry three escapes one death would have been fine they absolutely threw that game at the end right there because they're being overly altruistic but i hope this video actually does a good job at illustrating the pros and cons of this character when his stealthiness works when you're able to get some good view, like visions and good expose things off you can do pretty well but his lack of presence on the map and the fact that he still remains a standard mouse one killer without the stealth makes it so gens are just done like that. They are completely destroyed and you're going to have a really hard time against a team that coordinates on gens. Like most killers do now because gen speeds are just are just ridiculous. I feel, like, I feel like I bring this up after every single killer comes out that gen speeds are crazy and nothing ever happens, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's not like anyone's going to listen to me, but, like, it's still sad. Because I'm like, oh, man, come on. Like, gen speeds are crazy. We got to we gotta, we gotta do something about that. Anyway, that's uh, that's the ghost face for you. It's a little bit of a game. If you're curious, I'm going to have a video on a second channel, probably tomorrow or maybe today, where I play, uh, like, five or so games with ghost face. So if you want to see some more of that, it's like normal commentary. You can check it out, the extended version, basically. But besides that, this is what we got here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.